Hello and welcome to another podcast. I am Coach Mark Manila, and it's lovely to be back with you. Today I'm going to be explaining a little bit more about my move into vibrational energy and how I've been using it in my coaching up until recently and also how you can harness the power of vibrational energy to achieve most of what you want, if not all of what you would like in your life, whether it be a better career, perhaps passing an exam, attracting your right soulmate partner, whatever it is that you perhaps are frustrated by at the moment, listen on because I'm going to be revealing something about how this works and how you too can start to step towards creating the life you really would like. So um, many of you will have been checking out my channels. If you haven't already, do please follow the links down below to my YouTube channels and like, subscribe and share because it helps me massively. Um, what I'm trying to do here is raise awareness of how music and art together can do us so much to help enhance your mental well-being and that in turn helps your physical health but actually it also lifts your vibrational energy and uh, take it from somebody who knows who's been through a lot of health challenges that it is important to find what will work for you. Um, I'm no medic by any means so please do not take this as medical advice, there's my legal disclaimer but I do know that this is helping me significantly and I share it with all of you in the aim that perhaps it might help one or two or even hundreds of you to get a better life, psychology or physical health status. So let's crack on. Um, the power of vibrations, okay? So how do you manifest your desires through frequency alignment? That's a bit of a mouthful, right? So let me ask you a question. Have you ever felt like you're doing all the right things? I bet you have. I've been there too. You know, you've taken the classes, you've applied for the jobs, you've practiced all the skills, and yet you're still struggling to achieve your desired results. Now, the reason might actually lie in a fundamental universal force that many overlook, okay, and that's your energetic vibration. So after a series of very serious events for me over the last probably seven years, it really hmm, forced me to turn inward to look at what was going on for myself because prior to this, my life hadn't been exactly perfect, but it certainly hadn't taken the turn that it had. And I wanted to know what was going on. Now, at the core of every wish, ambition or aspiration is a vibration. If you think about it, as you know, probably from your physics classes, if you can remember back, you probably learned about how everything is an atom um, at its smallest particle. In fact, everything we perceive to be solid isn't so. It's just densely packed molecules all tightly bound together, but they are vibrating and actually nothing really is solid, even though it appears to be so. Now, I'm not going to profess I know a lot about physics, so I'm going to leave that there, <laughs> okay? But basically, I want to talk about vibrations such as an energetic frequency emitted from our thoughts, beliefs, and intentions, because that's what I specialize in. And if you haven't ever tried a coaching session with me, then you may like to try to get a coaching session. As I say, these days, it's quite limited because I am managing my own energetic levels. And what I've realized is that I have actually been sending my vibrations, for want of a better word, to many of my clients and my students over the last, say, four and a half years. And what you have to be aware of is as much as it has helped lift so many students and clients, and they have reported it and they acknowledge it as well. They say, look, your energy, there's just something about our sessions. It's not me saying it. Um, I try to say it in a way that hopefully doesn't sound big headed. It's just the testimonials I'm receiving back, but it's made a difference. Um, at the same time, it's also made a difference to me, and you can deplete yourself if you're not careful. So these days, I'm highly aware of my energetic levels, and that's something I've really got to keep under control. But you can grab a limited number of sessions with me, and you can just follow the links below to check that out and have a chat with me. The first 30-minute session is completely free of charge. So at the core of every wish that you have, you are giving out an energetic frequency, whether you know it or not. And this vibration is aligned with what you would like to manifest. Okay, so 
in a way, we naturally are attracting circumstances into our reality. Now, bear with me. If you start to think this all sounds a bit woo-woo to you, just hold your horses. Um, You've got nothing to lose by carrying on listening. I mean, what is there to really lose? Nothing at all. And you've got everything to gain. And even if at the end of this podcast you feel that, no, this is just not for you, a lot of old claptrap, that's absolutely fine. But you will have listened to something quite different, unusual, and maybe you can consider it as a nice little story. Okay. So when we look at it, the vibration is aligned with what we would like, okay? When there's a misalignment or resistance, now that's the most important thing, it's actually the resistance, our doubts and fears become self-fulfilling prophecies that block our desires. This much I realized personally, only quite recently, and I'm kind of like beating myself over the head a little bit, but I should stop that because that's not a good thing to be putting out either, Um, that I didn't realize it sooner but you don't know what you don't know. And I bet many of you also don't realize you're doing this to yourself. It was something that I could see in my clients, and then it started me to reflect on an inward journey towards myself and realized, aha, this is likely what's happening. And I dug into this a lot deeper, um, including the teachings of a wonderful, you'll know probably of Abraham Hicks, that might ring a bell with you all, Um, If you haven't already checked out um, Esther Hicks and Abraham Hicks and the actual teachings, then do give that a good Google because it's worthwhile you watching and listening to. So the universal law of attraction states that like attracts vibrational energy. Okay, so like attracts like. Positive thoughts and emotions such as excitement, joy, gratitude and love, they resonate at a higher frequency which then attract the corresponding positive experiences. So if you think about it, you've likely, if you've ever fallen in love or, you know, really just had a great time, basically the energy that you're emitting is attracting more of the same back to you and it builds a lovely feedback loop. Conversely, if things have started to go wrong in your life and then get even worse, it's chances are that you're now engaging in a negative thought vibration going out there and that's attracting more of the same to turn up. And if you're not careful, it can end up becoming a self-fulfilling prophecy like, see, I'm right, everything's going wrong in my life. But actually, I know it sounds weird to say it, in a way, your thoughts are maintaining that position, they're holding it as so. So my mum used to always say, change your thoughts. And she got that from her great auntie. And I could oh, I could see it at a superficial level, just change your thoughts. It seemed rather simplistic, okay? And actually, at the time, it seemed like you were dismissing someone, invalidating when they said they were having not a great time. Now I can see perhaps the other side to that. And that by changing your thoughts immediately brings into resonance perhaps a more positive energy that would change those circumstances. So I stand corrected. (laughs) Okay. Now, as we say, the universal law of attraction states that like attracts like vibrational energy. So if you think about it, as we said, if you've got negative mindsets such as fear of you know, maybe you'll mess up in a job interview, worry that there's not enough money, a lack or unworthiness perhaps about yourself, you don't feel you deserve a decent partner, you will emit lower dense vibrations and then that actually repels what we want. Okay, it's as simple as that. If anything, if you're in a bad situation as well, it will keep It will keep that bad situation going for much longer than it need be. In fact, it is just a few thoughts away and consistently if you practice attracting the different thought and not giving focus to the bad stuff. Now, that is the tricky thing, okay? Particularly if you're in a bad situation as I myself have known in the past, it's very hard to detach if everything around you is pretty awful. Um, you've got to find then the small things. You know when people say to you, oh, be grateful for the small things in your day, and you probably think if you're depressed or having an awful life, but you think, what is there good in my life? Everywhere I look, it's just a disaster. I live in a horrible place, in a hostile environment. I have very limited money. All of these negative thoughts, and it may be a struggle to find anything good. But even if you can celebrate something as simple as, I had a decent cup of coffee this morning. I had five minutes peace to myself before the children woke up and, and, you know, wrecked the house. Whatever it is, the smallest things are very important because it's that act of gratitude, okay, and just feeling good about even those small things and ignoring the absolute big monster around you that might be lack of money, terrible circumstances, hostile environment, poor relationships, 
and just keep focusing on those tiny good things because those tiny vibrations on a daily basis will build up to attract a different set of realities to you. It's not magic, it's not anything other than pure physics, okay? So the good news is, is that if your dominant inner vibration controls your intentions, okay, as long as you're focusing on attracting the positive, the good news is you have the power to reshape your vibration through focused energy work. And that's what I do a lot, I've now realized, with my clients. But it's only fairly recently I've realized, oh, this is what I am doing. Okay. So as a mindset coach, I mean, I have actually witnessed this firsthand, as I've mentioned. And this is what really got me thinking, what's going on? And I've seen how profoundly shifting one's vibration can transform life. So I'm going to give you an example of one of my clients. Um, we're going to call him Daniel um, from Singapore. Now, Daniel came to me feeling rather defeated in his efforts to secure a UK healthcare position. He'd previously worked in healthcare in Singapore, um, had come across to the UK, um, but found it quite difficult immediately to get the position he wanted. So he took just a job in a call centre. You know, it was not Daniel's intention at all to stay there for nearly two and a half years. But you know what it's like. One thing leads to another. Life overtook him and he ended up just staying and staying and staying. And then he realised, oh, my goodness, two and a half years has gone by. Um, I've completely lost touch with the healthcare system and, and how things worked. Um, I think I'm going to get judged because perhaps my English isn't as good as it could be, despite him working in a call center. He had a lot of self-limiting beliefs. And Daniel came to me because he realized, I don't love being in a call center. And if this is the rest of my life, this is not what I came to the UK to do. And this is not what I want to do. And he was feeling rather depressed. And he was, to be honest, and Daniel's own words were this, kind of cynical that anything could change. And that was his biggest challenge. It wasn't his English, to be honest. His English was good. But it wasn't even his time out of healthcare because we could easily explain that. And he could easily get back into it. No, the biggest limiting belief that was stopping Daniel from getting actual job offers was his own thoughts. So Daniel had applied for quite a lot of jobs, let's put it like that, okay? And Daniel was always getting rejected. He would either never hear back or he would just get the standard letter, like many of you might receive. And it was starting to build up. He was thinking, okay, there we go again. And in fact, he got to the point where he would go to an interview and even before he went in the door, think they're not going to offer me this job. You can see where I'm coming from, that if that is the vibrational energy you enter an interview with, the chances are you're not going to have a great performance. Even if you don't believe in this vibrational attraction mumbo jumbo I'm talking about, just think of it from a logical point of view. Do you think if you went into an interview with a very heavy heart, a depressed face, you know, kind of miserable, and sat there and tried to answer questions, you would enthuse your potential employers? No. Okay, so whether it be the vibrational energetic principle, which I truly believe in, or perhaps if you prefer, because you find that a step too far for your mind right now, to think it's just, you know, your attitude when you go into it, either way, it's going to have an impact. That was his biggest problem. So his biggest obstacle was not the credentials, but rather his shaken self-belief and negative expectations around future failure, okay? Now, what we did was through our sessions, we took a deep dive, okay, using energy psychology techniques, which again, I can use with yourselves. I can show you how that works in a session. And we identified and released that trapped low vibration of his doubt, his anxiety and unworthiness, Everything related to his career goals and life goals, we worked on. And once those dense vibrational blockages were cleared, we were able to then rebuild Daniel's confidence from an authentic higher frequency state. Now, it didn't actually take long. This is the funny thing. You know, Daniel had convinced himself that it was kind of a lost cause. And I was his kind of last chance from his point of view. His words, you got to help me. I've tried everything else. And I've heard some of your previous podcasts and read some of your testimonials on your website. So what have I got to lose? Within a couple of months of doing this inner vibrational work, Daniel, very strangely, landed offers from not just one, but multiple healthcare organizations. And that is no exaggeration. In fact, his biggest problem was choosing which one he would prefer to take which one offered him the most opportunities. Now, these were all opportunities that had repeatedly eluded him. Think about this, you know, 
Um, previously, when his vibration was misaligned with his desires, it just wasn't happening. And his success showcased how prioritizing energy management precedes the sustained outward change. So you've got to energize your management first. Okay. If you're trying to look for um, an outward change first and then you'll change your attitude, you're going to be waiting a long time. If you're going to wait for the job offer and then you'll feel happy again, you could be waiting a long time. And it goes in hand in hand, I suppose. If you think about it, you've ever heard about fake it until you make it. Well, I don't like that expression, but it actually does kind of align with this. What we're saying is you have to be the change you want to see. And one of the quotes that I have designed for myself, I don't know if anybody else has used this quote, but I, I figured this was one I've come up with, is you have to be the miracle you want to see. Don't wait for a, a miracle, be the miracle, okay? So in order to get that job, you have to almost behave and have the energy, energy as though you have already got that job. And then, strangely enough, the vibrational rate of you and then it affects your attitude, your body language, how engaging you are. And also just it drops the resistance. That's the other thing. The resistance is the key. So if you go into there feeling very positive and everything, but you're still operating a principle in your head, a belief of, but I bet I won't get it, the chances are you still won't. So we really have to have you stop focusing on what could go wrong, the negative stuff, the lack of anything, and just focusing on what is going right, what will be coming to you, what is coming for you. And it is a continual process, okay? A continual progress. But once you actually get your head around that, you will start to see very interesting things turning up in your life. People's behavior might change, your own behavior might change, your own situation will improve, and you'll be like, what is going on? Now, Obviously, for many, I know this might sound a bit like spiritual pseudoscience, and I get it. I totally get it. But just from a scientific perspective, consider this, if you will. We all know that all matter at subatomic roots is a constant dance of energetic frequencies. Okay? We covered it in physics when we were children. Now, you could say that we are quite literally vibrating bundles of energy, taking up a physical form. And if you agree with that, which is taught in physics, then it's no metaphysical stretch then to understand how our predominant vibrations profoundly shape our external experiences. So the greatest coaches and mentors, if you look at you know people like, well, there's so many out there, I'm not going to start naming names. The point is this, they don't just teach strategies and skills. It's the same as I say to my students and clients, I don't just teach you English, I don't just teach you interview technique, I don't just teach you how to run a better business, okay? No, okay? We start by raising your vibration, okay? And usually it's through our own energy transfer, which is why, as a coach, I have to be very careful. So, my clients often reflect that beyond learning tactics, there's a palpable uplifting force to experience from our interactions that inspires confidence. And that's through a webcam, okay? That is online. So I've never actually tried this in person, so it would be fantastic to see what that would be like, but certainly online it happens. But I also know it's, it's highly demanding of my energy, which is why these days I I take a very limited number of clients because there's just no other way to do this. As an energetically sensitive person, I can actually feel those vibrational shifts occurring during our sessions as we release those stagnant blockages and reset intentions. And it is absolutely, well, it's an honor and a privilege to be in this position. And I really don't know how I ended up being able to do this, but it's something I can do. So, Obviously, it's invigorating, as we said, but it's also highly taxing work. So balanced energy management through practices like meditation, spending time in nature, proper self-care and distancing from negativity is crucial for coaches like myself to sustainably hold vibrational space for others. And if you are equally an energetic, sensitive person, you might like to take some of those practices yourself because it's important. Trust me. Um, looking close at the dynamics of vibration. Our thoughts and beliefs are formidable shapers of this force. So let me explain that a bit more. Um, every time you attach mental, emotional energy to an idea, you literally are amplifying its vibrational strength. You might not even realize that this is happening. 
Okay. Um, most of us have a thousand thoughts every day about something, someone, a place, a desire, whatever. Everything you are thinking is a vibration. And it's why becoming hyper aware of your self talk is super, super paramount. Okay. Because if your self talk is critical, negative, judgmental, shame filled, guilt riddled, whatever, oh my goodness, watch out. If you can continue that over a sustained, prolonged period of time, really it starts to show up in the body, the health, the psychology, the lot. Okay, so this is very important that you take note of how you are speaking to yourself. The persistent worries of I'm not good enough, I'll never get that job, or I don't have what it takes, or there's not enough money for me become vibrationally charged commands that you then unconsciously not only obey, but you are attracting the same into your life. So you're quite right. You'll never get that job. You won't have what it takes. You won't be good enough. It almost becomes think it and so it will be. So similarly, if you have doubts around your financial abundance, romantic partnerships, health goals, any ambition, okay, um, it kind of acts as energetic barriers to receiving those experiences. So you might want to stop after this podcast and think, what am I doing? What have I been thinking? What am I saying to myself? And this is where I would challenge you first to, you know, playfully have a go at changing those thoughts. So if you come up with a thought in your head about money, maybe like um, no matter how much I do, there's never enough money. Um, no matter how hard I work, I can never increase my salary. Then you might want to change that slightly. Um, you might want to just tell yourself simplistically, oh, there is plenty. There is abundance out there for me. Okay. Um, there is infinite amounts of money and other people are managing to get their hands on it. So can I. There's no difference between me and them. But of course, if you're in such a poor place, then you might not be able to make that jump. So you might be able to reframe how you think about money and say, okay, you know, you find yourself having that thought, there's not enough money, it doesn't matter how hard I work, I can never make enough money. You might like to say, at the moment, it seems, so not is, it seems, it appears like no matter how hard I work, I can't make enough money. However, and that's a very important word, however, usually, if you're in a positive situation, it can seem a bit negative, but if you're in a negative situation, it's actually positive. So you can say, yeah, okay, well, there is all of that. However, however, I am discovering other ways for me to generate income without having to work even harder. So we want you to take your thought and just alter it slightly, okay? Not just make that big jump. So I'd just like you to work with those thoughts tonight after this podcast. Write down all of your self-limiting beliefs and then see if you can reframe them to something slightly less negative and judgmental and put a however in. So, okay, um, I might not have the best partnership right now with my husband, however, I do love the fact that we can still share a good laugh over a film or a movie, okay? So we want you to find something positive about the negative situation. We just want you to feel gratitude and start to, we would call it bridge that belief, okay? To try to reframe it slightly. And when you do that, okay, um, then you will start to see things do turn around, okay? Um, if you think about it, if you entertain thoughts, as we say, of being a successful person, feeling worthy, acting as if you've already had it happen, these vibrational invitations, they draw those realities to you. It's weird, but it's fact. It just, it's turning up for all my clients. So it aligns your frequency with your intended desires. So monitoring your vibration through your emotional feedback system is key. OK, so we're not saying here that you should just shut down all of these thoughts and emotions. They are very important. So you might be feeling sad because you haven't got that job offer. OK, now the emotions like enthusiasm, eagerness, uh, appreciation, certainty, they indicate you're vibrationally cohesive with what you want to create. You know, if you feel happy and as I say, you're having a great time, that means you're on point. You are in your zone. Okay, feelings such as cynicism, 
apathy, disbelief, or anxiety are signs you need to revisit some of the missing beliefs and reset your energy. Something is going wrong, likely in your self-talk. It can only be in your self-talk. Other people cannot do anything to you. They can't make you think or feel certain things, okay? You allow perhaps their behaviors. You engage with their behaviors. You engage with their vibrational energy, actually. And that can then allow you to drag your own vibrational energy down. And you've got to protect yourself from those situations. Again, the way you do that is not paying attention to those people. Okay, it is totally ignoring that and distracting yourself and looking at what is good in that situation. Um, sometimes it's not possible to remove yourself from a bad, say, work colleague, for example, but you can focus on something else in the office when your colleague starts moaning and almost just zone out whatever he or she is moaning about. They can no longer drain you and drag you down with them. Okay, so, and again, if you're struggling with things like that, I can help you with that in a coaching session. Now, of course, when you think about it, it's very important, very important that you include practices like creative stuff, which is why I've been working so much on art and music, because they help elevate and enhance your vibrational energy. Also, things like vision boards, surround yourself with things you would like to have in your life, okay? Envisage what your life will look like and how it will feel while you're there. Um, again, you can check out my artwork channels, I have lots of positive artwork, also motivational slogans, stickers, greetings cards, you name it, mugs. Whatever you can do to make yourself be more positive, feel more positive, raise that vibrational state is important. Um, it's the same principle of when people want to learn English faster and they use the immersion technique, which often means they go to a country where English is spoken and they are surrounded 24-7. It's, you know, in writing, advertisements, day-to-day -day shopping, hearing people on the tube, whatever, speaking English. And they learn faster because they're absorbing it because they're surrounded by it. Okay, the speech is a vibration, okay? And if you're surrounded and immersed in it, you become what you're surrounded by, okay? So this is why if you go to, say, England to learn English, but you stay in your apartment and don't immerse yourself in it, it doesn't matter. You, the fact you've gone to England will not help you speak better English, okay? You have to be immersed in the sea. So the same is here. You can listen to this podcast, okay? But what you ideally would like to do is immerse yourself. You want to surround yourself on every level with objects and items that remind you of these messages. Write your own post-it notes and stick them everywhere with positive vibrational uplifting comments, okay? Um, listen to some great music, not low density music. So again, those of you who know, I have several different YouTube channels. One of them is a nostalgia channel and that has a lot of old music on it from the 1800s, 1900s, 1940s um, and also just recently for all of my lovely Indian clients and people who love all things to do with India, it's got a lot of um, Hindi, Rajasthani, Marathi songs on there as well because that energetic vibration is fabulous for lifting your energetic vibrational frequency. So do check those out and you can just listen to those to your heart's content. So try to include a number of different positive things in your life every day and prioritize your psychological and emotional environment, okay, to make that profound change. Of course, it's natural, you're gonna experience ebbs and flows of motivation and temporary vibrational dips. So if you're somebody who's a bit of a perfectionist, okay, then really you're going to struggle with this one unless you realize, okay, that perfectionism around being high vibe 24-7 can actually create resistance, all right? It's really something that I had to learn the high, hard way there. So the key is gently guiding yourself back to an energy and rich frequency for the majority of your day-to-day -day experience. So I'll give you an example. Um, you wake up filled with purpose, passion for your entrepreneurial goals, okay? And then you might get triggered by your colleague's negativity at work. But rather than wallowing in that diminished vibration, I'd like you to reset it, 
you're going to take a break for meditation or just write down your appreciation or vision your success or, you know, blast away with some of that wonderful music, as I say. But it's mastering these subtle adjustments of vibration that will allow you to energetically shape your circumstances with more pre precision and flow. You don't have to go become a monk on a mountaintop, okay? Um, life is reality too. Um, and whilst your colleague is perhaps irritating you, it's probably not realistic for you to just quit your job because there'll be another colleague at the other job, right? So it's about learning how to, as Bruce Lee would say, be like water and flow around your colleague's negative vibration and don't take it on as your own. And when you do that, you stop battling against the universe's energetic intelligence and instead you harness it as a supportive force. Now, Again, I'm aware that this might sound a little bit airy-fairy for some people, and that's fine, but just think about the physics, the logical scientific fact behind what I'm saying, and do your own research. I'm not here to convince you of anything other than to share it with you. Ultimately, um, aligning your frequency with what you want to create is laying the vibrational tracks for the physical manifestation to arrive. And through witnessing profound transformations just like Daniel, I'm continuously now reminded that securing a dream job is not just about acting or, you know, sort of acing the technical aspects, right? It fundamentally, I cannot repeat this enough times, it fundamentally starts with embodying the vibration of feeling deserving, capable and confident, okay? And nothing else other than that will get you any further in life. And similarly for entrepreneurial goals, getting into an abundant prosperity mindset, Feeling the vibrations of what it's like to live your purpose can attract the aligned clients, resources, and the opportunities you need, okay? So, for improving confidence with public speaking or English fluency, again, getting into that vibrational state of already being an excellent communicator is pivotal before any amount of language practice can make a true impact, um, you know, and this again is so, so important. Every aim, ambition and desire has a vibrational essence. You must attune yourself to that first energetically before it can materialize externally as your reality. So working on fostering that frequency alignment through your thoughts, beliefs, intentions and energy management is the real behind the scenes work that manifests dreams into form. And that's what I'd like to share with you and hope you take away from the podcast today. Um, as you embark on learning any skill or making life changes, be it the new business, your career, I don't know, personal growth, whatever, be aware that the inner vibrations you are emanating are shaping your experiences as much as your outer actions, in fact, more so. The, the focus should be actually more on the inner work than the outer work. And that goes contrary to everything you've ever been told by your parents, teachers, bosses, you should work harder for longer hours. No, totally wrong totally wrong. Less is more. And again, I'd be happy to go through this in coaching sessions with you. We can help you make these changes quite quickly. Um, at the end of the day, you've got to be aware of this and ask yourself this. Does your dominant inner energy frequency feel like an energetic match to your goals? If it doesn't, then that's the level you must begin working on at first. That's the number one thing. If it does not feel like an energetic match to your goals, you've got to raise that energy first or you will be working against yourself. And it may initially seem daunting to monitor and adjust your vibration. However, it's just like building any skill. Um, it becomes easier and more natural with diligent pursuit and practice. And as you bring awareness to your energetic patterns and make a commitment, to continually realign with your highest visions, you will notice profound shifts. It is impossible for it not to be so, okay? So the opportunities, the connections, all of that spiritual connectivity will seem to conspire more towards your favor and you'll move through the world with a magnetism that draws the support, you know, the serendipity to co-create the experiences you desire. And that is the untapped power of vibrational mastery. And that's something that I have finally realized, okay, this is what's going on here, right? So never underestimate the potency of your energetic frequencies. By intentionally cultivating one harmonious with your dreams and values, you activate an unstoppable force that can, you know, part limiting circumstances, reshape your entire reality from the inside out. The life you've been envisaging, inevitably arises as if orchestrated by the universe itself because in essence that's exactly what was happening all along 
So if this has resonated with you, if you're curious to find out more, as I say, all the links are down below my podcast. I hope this has helped give you a little bit of a tip off as to what might be going on in your life. Do stay safe always. And as always, remember this, the magic is within you, not outside.